I have to confess guys, this is a piece of junk, bad investment. How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now a couple vlogs ago you saw that my friend Adi's got a new full frame camera which is totally awesome and also if you've been for a while you know that I mostly shoot Nikon and I have a couple lenses from their lineup and in order to use Nikon lenses on a Sony camera I need an adapter. By the way for camera techie stuff in the future subscribe to my channel. Now there are many different categories of adapters for example there's a company called Metabones which creates fully functional electronic adapters which go on your camera and they work with the autofocus and every like you can put a lens on another camera body with that adapter and pretty much everything works all the functions of the lens but the metabone adapters cost like two hundred dollars or more which could be the price of a lens and it's a good investment if you have like four or five or more lenses from one lineup going on another camera than just for two hundred dollars they're all usable there but for my two crop lenses which each of which costs less than the adapter itself it just doesn't make sense on the other hand you have an adapter like this which I borrowed from Alan another friend and it's not electronic it doesn't have any electronic but it does have aperture control. Let me show you how that works. So this ring over here, if I turn it, it adjusts the size of the aperture, which is great. Even though it's manual focus, I got used to it. I've been using it for about a month now and manual focus is completely fine, though I have to admit I've been mostly shooting video. It goes for about 20 bucks, which is way more affordable, but it's great to have a friend to borrow it from. So give this a like for every time you borrow photography equipment from a friend. But then this came in the mail, which is a whole different story. It's just a slab of metal with like this hinge here to detach the lens. Ching, ching. And not even a rod for opening the lens aperture. All of a sudden, my five bucks feel completely wasted. I mean, you know the feeling. What's the last thing you bought that felt like a complete waste of money? I've seen some others on eBay, which are kind of in between this one and this one. They do have a switch, but it's only like open and closed, only two positions, and you can't precisely control the width of the aperture. But at this point, I have to make a decision. Do I want to invest into a higher category adapter because of pretty much one lens, which is the 50 millimeter f1.4, or find a way to go without it by, for example, jamming a piece of paper in here, which is going to keep the aperture open at all times because I rarely stop it down anyway. I'm not completely sure yet but I'm probably gonna go with the latter especially because I'm considering switching to the Sony system because it's awesome even though the full frame lenses I don't have enough kidneys to sell to get the full frame lenses. Anyway the point is there are many different adapters on the market out there but make sure you know what you want and especially what you need and don't miss out on little details that you might regret later like me. So that brings this video to a close thanks so much for watching and as always I'm gonna see you guys next week. And now I have to figure out how am I going to make this lens work with this adapter.